Joma district came alive as government, energy officials, and community leaders gathered to signal the start of one of the country's most significant power infrastructure projects, the Mozuma Kafua West 330 kV transmission line and the 35 megawatt Mozuma solar plant. Representing the Minister of Energy, Makozo Chikote, Zesko Board Chairperson Vixon Mwe described the project as a bold step towards securing Zambia's energy future. This starts to feed into ensuring that our economy develops without glitches. It, it starts to address the issue of rural development and national transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, if the CDA fund builds a clinic with a maternity wing, but there's no electricity to look after incubators, that becomes what the English call a white elephant. This is what we want to avoid by ensuring that there is enough electricity supply in the whole country. I was uh, whispering with MD. I said, uh, what is the total consumption of Choma the whole of Yoma, as a district and surrounding areas, including Monze, we arrived at a figure of not more than 20 megawatts. When this solar plant is fully operational, power shortages in Yoma and Monze and other surrounding areas during the daytime will become a thing of the past. Choma Mayor Javen Simuloka has welcomed the development saying the district is increasingly proving to be a hub for investment, innovation and inclusive development. This particular infrastructure, guest of honor, poses a unique opportunity for Choma to invest in solar. And as you do this ZESCO 35 megawatts, I call upon other investors to take opportunity of the infrastructure that we have in Choma. And indeed, the 330 kilowatt power line, which will actually allow whoever invests in Choma to evacuate their power to wherever it will be required. Zesco Managing Director Justin Longo disclosed that the project comes with a price tag of approximately 100 million US dollars. The solar plant is being developed by China Energy Engineering and will bring 300, 300 local jobs, new skills and commercial opportunities crowned by the injection of electricity into the grid right through this substation here. These projects are only possible because of partnerships. Government reform environment under President Hijilema. Meanwhile, Jim Wenbo, project director at China Energy Engineering Group, assured the government and stakeholders that construction will be completed within the agreed time frame. Energy China makes three clear promises here. First, uh, we will build it well. You all know that we are good at uh, this work. We will bring skilled uh, engineers and uh, good equipment. We will deliver a safe, high-quality project on time. The groundbreaking marks the beginning of a transformative journey one expected to deliver cleaner energy, improved reliability, and greater economic opportunities for surrounding communities. As work begins, hopes remain high that this project will light the path toward a more secure energy future for Zambia. Doreen Chembe, ZNBC News, Joma District.